Lynn Terry here, and this is a quick sneak peek into what I'm working on this evening. And uh, just kind of wanted to give you guys a behind the scenes look of what's going on on my computer screen. Um, I started out this morning with my morning blog post, the usual. Um, and this is an idea that I've kind of been toying with, with for a while and, and wanted to get some, some content out there on the topic. But uh, basically, it's about the whole going wide concept and how that relates to your uh, job of getting backlinks in your SEO and things like that. So I started out with this basic title, Getting Backlinks That Count. And as I started to write this article, references and all, it just got longer and longer and longer. And it occurred to me uh, that I could really add so much more to it and so I thought why publish this as a blog post which of course would be a great blog post but why publish it that when it, it could make such a great special report so I decided to change it into a short report basically I copied control A control C copied um, all of the blog posts there and uh, opened up my word processor and simply pasted it in here so this is the beginnings, the skeleton, the rough draft, if you will, of my special report. It was basically started as a blog post. Now, I know a lot of you have read Jonathan Ledger's um, Write That Report. That was actually uh, the foundation for me in, actually, in getting, getting my reports published in PDF format and out there, really, because he makes it so simple. But basically, um, I start with this you know draft of an article that I've started with and the first thing that I have to do personally is all the formatting for some reason I just cannot work without that shell um, you know and I, I like to have all that in place so all the way from the main page at the top you know the heading and, and all that all the way down to the signature so what I did was I started with um, the header which I usually always use the same font and same color when I do a, a special report so basically I opened another special report that I wrote recently um, of course originally I had to do it from scratch but I, I opened another report and then I just changed the text so it still has my photo you may recognize this from other PDF files you've downloaded of mine but basically I just started with that format that I already had um, used in the past and I kind of changed the title around I'm trying to make it more exciting for a report instead of just a blog post so it's how to funnel tons of free traffic into your website in a world of no follow tags and link snobs and um, so I just kind of changed this text a bit I like to qualify myself at the beginning of a report hey this is who I am this is what I do this is why you should listen to me um, and that part is just below that in this special report you will learn now I started out with blank bullet points here and I should have recorded this earlier when I was just fleshing it out but I started out with blank bullet points here and I thought okay what am I going to put in the report I already have a basic draft of an article so I went through that I read through it and I tried to kind of bullet point some of the things that um, were definitely going to to cover in this particular report in this content so I just kind of jotted those down those are of course subject to change and as I you know flesh out the report and actually get it finished so the next thing that I do because I have to have all the formatting in place in order to flesh out my content it's just a quirk the next thing that I do is put in the heading one heading two heading three I'm assuming I may have like seven chapters I really don't know yet and I can edit that as I go so the next step that I'm going to do is actually create these headings and what this does is it makes an outline for my report which makes it super easy to actually sit down and write it because it breaks it up into topical chunks if you will so we'll start with heading one okay what am I gonna start with I have the basic article so I can go back and read through that or I can um, look back up here at my bullet points the current truths about backlinks and no follow tags so let's just take that and make that heading one make it capital there we go so I'm gonna italicize the word truths an important word there in that one the current truths about backlinks and heading two we're going to put um, what you need to know about the no follow tag and like I said I may edit this and change as I go but uh, we're just gonna have um, just for example just to get started because if I don't get started I won't get done that's just plain and simple uh, so the next thing is uh, we'll put how to get fast traffic
there we go. So now we're, we're kind of fleshing it out here. So basically, and I won't bore you by continuing to rough draft the rest of those because they're probably going to change. But basically then now I'm going to go back through my draft of an article and let's say this part, um, it belongs in, in section one. So I'm just going to copy that. I actually don't cut and paste. I copy and paste so I can leave the original article in full draft below that. That's just a quirk of mine also because I like to have it all down there just in case. So we'll put that part there because it belongs under that heading and then let's say for example I go down here um, and get to the next section that talks about the no follow and I come up here and put that under the appropriate heading. So as you can see now I'm actually kind of fleshing things out. I'll go back in and change the font. I prefer um, Arial 12 or Arial 11 something like that usually looks good. Um, but basically what I'm doing is I'm outlining and then I'm just kind of putting in the draft content. Now from here I'm going to go um, into each section and now I'm going to actually flesh it out. I'm going to you know write it all out, add to it whatever needs to be added to it and then kind of complete it or what have you. And so I get all the way to the bottom and then there will be a conclusionary paragraph or two or, or page or you know recommended next step you know that call to action that we need to include and so that's basically how a report is um, conceived on my computer it, it starts out usually as a blog post because that's where my writing uh, generally happens and uh, if, it, if I see that it's just it's just exploding into something totally on its own I, you know into like report type material then I'll just take it straight over to Word and format around it and create a short report